Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another weekly vlog where we never know where the camera's gonna go. What's up my YouTube family? How's it going? I hope you guys are having a good week. If you guys didn't get a chance to watch my last video, click on the little thing up there. You can check out my last video, then you can check this video out, then you can come back to this video, then whatever you want to do. So, anyways, I want to talk about something real quick. I don't know if you guys haven't seen my last video, let me know what you guys think. Or maybe it was just a thumbnail. So I posted on Instagram and I got nothing but crappy feedback. Like no one, a lot of people are hating. I'm not gonna say everyone. A lot of people were hating, but I noticed it wasn't the people that really follow me or follow my um, YouTube channel. It was like random people, so I don't know if they see on the search feed. But I put buying an Alcat at 23, and the guy told a story, and I thought it was cool. And then you know he gave a little motivation, or he said like you know just you know work hard or whatever. You know he had said, and people were like, oh, what's so cool about owning a Hellcat? Like, bro, like people are such freaking haters. Real motherfucker, they hate you with every fucking thing they got. They can't stand it. They hate what you look like, what. You what you're wearing, what you're driving, what you talk about, what you think about, they fucking hate it, and you're gonna have to understand that's the way it is. People don't wanna see anyone doing better, or slightly better, or achieving a goal, or nothing. Like, that's so crazy. And I even, like, commented, like, I got so frustrated at the point because, you know, if someone wanted to go on my Instagram and talk crap on my car or, or anything that I do, that's totally fine. I mean, that's my page. But when I go and I get someone on my blog that is supposed to be positive, and it's supposed to be, you know, a cool little story and you know, cool shots of his car. And people just go to hate on it. Then it pisses me off because he didn't ask to be in my vlog. Well, he did. Well, we just talked about being a vlog and then we set it up. So I don't want to bring negativity to the guy. So that kind of got me real pissed off. So then I started commenting back and people were like, oh, what's so cool about your car? Oh, I'm 21 with the Hellcat ball. I'm like, but then I'm thinking like in my head, like they're not even, they're, they're, they're so dumb. They can't even pay attention and read the, you know, what I put in on the picture of the description that you know what i mean shout out to you know one slow one slow cat and blah 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 like it's not even my car so the whole time they're thinking it's my car that i posted on instagram and when i kind of explained to some people they kind of got it but other people were just idiots and then shout out to everyone that commented back on them but you guys don't have to do that man don't waste your time with people that are ignorant their brain cells are super small and they're just you know can't comprehend life and they're just haters maybe they're just upset that you know what i mean they haven't made right life decisions or whatever i, I understand I, it was just a whole lot of hate but anyways Yo, what's up guys? So right now I'm heading to the car meet. Uh, it's on the Big Bang Meet uh, Instagram. I'm not sure if they're the ones actually throwing it. Oh my gosh. I can't seem to. Are you serious? I can't. Technical difficulties with Cubs race car. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so I didn't personally know him, but I mean, it's always sad to lose someone in the community. So if anyone out there who knows him, I'm um, sorry for your loss. It's really sad because it's the second vlog that I've had someone that in the race community actually pass away. So anyone out there that's three races, just be careful. Try your best to save it for the track. I know we all get those urges and you know there's a that's time where we got that girl in the car or our you know our friends in the car. We wanna, you know, show them what our cars really got. I, I know, but try to be safe guys, because it really does suck because you know I like to go to these car meets to meet new people meet new car enthusiasts not to you know celebrate the life of someone that once was in the car scene so with that being said i'm gonna head over here and then when i get over there i'm going to turn on the big camera and i'm going to answer some q a questions and also i got the drone out tonight so hopefully it's a good enough event it's gonna be big and i got the drone i'll take it up all right guys so let's get there you've been acting strange things ain't been the same Yo, what's up, guys? I'm at this fundraiser over here in Borna Park for Freddy Perez. I'm super, super early, so right now I'm gonna go over some Q&A questions, and then I might just like do a question, go to cuts of cars, do a question, go to cars, something fun like that. So the first question I have for the Q&A is gonna be, what inspired me to be a YouTuber and block out the haters? So I'm gonna take that as like two different questions. So what made me want to become a YouTuber is that I just really enjoy making videos and I enjoy the 
positive side of being in the car community. Like it's it, it, like I know getting sucked in like the car community is definitely a pissing contest. It's who has the fastest car, who has the best mods, etc., etc. But at the same time, there's a lot of positive to be sold behind the car community, and it's fun, man. I have a great time. I love building my car. I enjoy making videos for you guys and great content and answer you guys' questions and just stuff like that. Like there is a lot of people that do car vlogs, 100%. But I notice their vlogs are all about their self. I don't want to make my vlog just by myself. That's why I have people, other people that have nice cars on my vlog too so they can say their story and how they got it and what they want to do and their plans of their builds so in a couple of weeks or a couple of months or a year I can go back and film with them when their build is actually done and then you know you guys got to watch him progress from being a stock car to basically what he has now God, you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, want to shout out your Instagram, man? Let's go. What, what's your Instagram? <laughs> Island.thunder. All right. We, uh, what kind of car is this? Uh, B6A4. And what makes you block out haters? Because, dude, I, no one has time for haters, bro. No, no, on the real, on the real, no one has time for haters. Like, no matter what I do, I have the fastest Camaro, the best looking Camaro in my eyes, but in someone else's eyes, it might just be crap. There's always going to be someone who's going to have something negative to say about my build or anyone else's build. So why even give them the time of day? Because that's what they want. They want to spark something in your head when they say something that pisses you off, and then they won. So why let them win? So I just, I mean, honestly, to every hater out there, <laughs> right to you. I blurred that out. <laughs> Anyways. You know I gotta bring it home. You know I gotta bring it home. You know I gotta bring it home now, yeah. They say the young is on the road. They say the young is on the road. They say the young is on the road now, yeah. You know I did it on my own. You know I did it on my own. You know I did it on my own now, yeah. They got me feeling like the one. They got me feeling like the one. They got me feeling like the one. What cameras and any software to use? I use the T3i and I just picked up the 70D. Well, I'm picking up the 70D, but right now I'm, the, I'm using the T3i and I have like four different GoPros. The I have the F GoPro 4 Plus and I have the non Bluetooth GoPro and I'll no two go no I have two GoPro 4 Pluses and I have one no Bluetooth GoPro. Um, that's what I use right now. The outside uh, view of my car, like when I could um, when I'm driving and stuff, I use the uh, GoPro with no Bluetooth because it's cheaper. So if it breaks, if a rock hits and it cracks the screen. Or something like that I didn't lose $400 I only lost like a hundred bucks and um, software I use I use uh, Final Cut Pro that's what I use I use Final Cut Pro for all my editing if you guys want to go check out FinalCutPro.com they do have a free trial and um, use it I mean it's 300 bucks so you can't pay in payments uh, so it is 300 bucks you got to pay the 300 bucks Yo, so I'm still the car me right now. I ran into Rudy. He actually drives a TTI, so I'm gonna let him talk a little bit about his car. All right, then, man. My name is Rudy. My Instagram is uh, Rodolfo Period Cervantes. This is my 2015 uh, white GTI. Uh, I'm looking to upgrade it soon, so uh, look out for my Instagram. And I'll be in there. Perfect. All right, guys. So right now, everyone's starting to pull up right now. Well, not everyone, but a lot of cars are pulling up. I got some shots of some cars. Hope you guys like those views of the cars. I hope I'm getting better. Let me know how my B roll is getting. I feel my B roll is getting a lot steadier. I also feel that my B roll is got getting a lot more steadier, where I don't have to use that much of stabilization. But I still use stabilization. I'm not perfect, and I'm not using any gimbal right now. I'm free handing. Um, shout out to Justin Escalona. That's where I got it from. His B roll is amazing. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring something new into the vlog, which I was obviously I've been doing for like the last like 10 vlogs. But um, anyways, I've been handing out some spam cars. Been going pretty good. Uh, cop actually came up to me. Actually, a cop then went. They used to patrol my high school, and uh, he's asked what's going on. I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm I'm not part of the vet. I'm just a YouTuber that uh, happened to see this going on so I stopped by but I'm no rat but anyways uh yeah that's pretty much it I don't really don't know anyone here so I'm kind of El Jefe solo right now you know Jefe solo Mr. Folo but uh anyways hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm actually having a pretty good time and a little bit once it gets packed I'm gonna take the drone up and we'll just go from there heads up my mic is dying so oh there's a target right here so i might run into target to buy a battery but shout out to myself the last time i forgot another chip and i ran out of space and now my, my mic is dying but it's on red 
I could probably last it all night, hopefully. Uh, so every time I record the clip, I go back to the audio and check it, make sure I actually recorded, like, so I wasn't talking to myself. But anyways, uh, I'm sorry to use the mic because it's actually dying. Let's see. Do you plan on getting the 6th gen? Yes, I do plan on getting the 6th gen, but not until this build is definitely done. I don't want to get anything new right now. I love my car right now. But when this build is done, I do want to get like the new ZL1 or if they have the Z28 by the time I'm ready to do it. But right now, um, I have no plans of buying another car. Would I ever start my own car club? <sighs> That's a tough one, man. I don't think I would ever start my own car club. It's a lot of work. I was in one and just had a falling out. And it's so much, you know, it's not like, like right now, I could get up and go to a car meet and don't have to worry about inviting people or not inviting people or, or feeling like I'm leaving people out or I have to invite someone if I go somewhere, if I want to go with certain people, but they don't like them. You know what I mean? It's such a big hassle. No, I don't, I don't want that. I just like to be free, be like El Jefe, just solo as hell and go to anywhere I want to go, hang out with whoever I want to hang out with and don't have to worry about anyone else's feelings. So no, I probably would never start a car club, but I do plan on doing a meet and greet soon. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I plan on doing a meet and greet. All right, we're chilling. So 714 Mopar is here. They're in the house. No, no one say no, no one wants to say hi or nothing, what's huh? Up? Hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. Up? Now, what's going there's, on? Yo, yo. 714. Yo, yo. And this guy right here, he shook my hand, but I told him I can't because Leo won't let me because he has a head turner sticker on. <laughs> <laughs> I like head turners. Just Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm about to show you this truck right now. Like, obviously, you're not gonna be able to feel it or understand how loud this is, but this thing is literally shaking the ground where I'm at right now. So I gotta check this out. No, I'm nothing in life but to be legit. Don't quote me, boy, cause I ain't said shit. ZL1, I'm not even gonna answer your <laughs> I'm not even gonna answer your questions. Do you really think you could beat Leo's uh, Punisher uh, Z06? Um, to, okay, so I've, I talked about this before, but I'll say it again. Do I think I could beat a Z06 when my turbo kit is in? If the driver's good, no. 100% track, drag, no. But Leo sucks at driving. Leo doesn't know how to drive. Leo his car is parked 99.9% .9 of the time, and when he does bring it out, it's probably just to go to tow it to another car meet. So he doesn't really drive his car, so he sucks at driving. So I think I'm gonna take him out. And I don't, but a normal Z06 and a really a, a good driver or even a basic driver, or even a brand new driver, he'd still be better than Leo. So no, I don't know. I don't think I'll, I'll lose Leo Z06. Yo, so what it do? My name is Tilo. I ride for oh, National Riders MC. I, you over here at my boys, yeah. Freddy's yeah. fundraiser event. May he rest in peace. <laughs> Freddy was a cool ass dude, dude, man. Humble, yeah. humble dude. Always show, show, show support to our club and stuff. And um, one of the baddest our ones he had and shit and you know man he rest in peace man he's a cool ass dude and i know he's waiting for us up there so we can ride together man yo so i'm still at the van right now and i was actually about to leave but roger's actually about to come so i don't know where he's at but when he gets here i'm gonna kick over for a little bit then i'm gonna take off but i haven't seen roger since we went on the cruise way out there in the valley uh i think it was uh the canyon 33 or something like that and don't judge me on my freaking hair okay I feel so wavy. I feel so wavy. I feel so wavy. I feel so wavy. Drowning in the bottle till the lifeguard come and save me. Cause they say that life's a beach. And you know I be feeling wavy. And now I feel so wavy. I feel so wavy. I feel so wavy. I feel so wavy. Drowning in the bottle till the lifeguard come and save me. Cause they say that life's a beach. And you know I be feeling Bro, we got the famous head turner here, right here, Roger. I have to turn the light on. Let I have to rev, bro. I have to rev for my Count team. Up. You know. Up. How's it going, guys? It's Roger. That just came to the Big Bang. Me, you know, show some love. Hey, tell Leo that you're joining Hell Hefe's team now, huh? Uh, yeah, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> how many times do you I'm not even gonna answer you guys <laughs> that's the weird thing is my grandma watches these vlogs I'm not gonna answer questions like this that's awkward as hell when's DJ Loverboy dropping a mixtape yo DJ Loverboy is gone DJ Loverboy is deceased DJ Loverboy is no moss and if you guys don't know about DJ Loverboy comment down below DJ Loverboy and now, if you comment that down, that means you want to know more about it. And maybe I'll make it just a video about DJ Loverboy. But other than that, you guys will never know about DJ Loverboy. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm finally back home. We got hung out with Roger. Cool. Shout out to you, Roger. Appreciate you coming through. And shout out to everyone else I met today. Met a nothing but great people today. Like, super chill guys. I met a photographer. I met a videographer. Definitely look forward to doing work with them. Uh, I actually kind of some spam cards today, like I said previously before. And, you know, just wanted to go support the community when, you know, someone I lost a friend. Like I said... I personally didn't know the guy, but it doesn't mean that it's not good to go support. I mean, he had friends, he had family, and from what I hear, uh, he was a great person. So, thank you guys for watching the vlog. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.